Damage to the body's tissues through heat, chemicals, sunburn, cuts or microbial infections trigger a general, non-specific defensive response called inflammation. Signs and symptoms of inflammation include redness, pain, heat, swelling and sometimes loss of function. Inflammation has three main functions. To destroy the agent causing injury, to limit the effect of the agent on the rest of the body and to repair and replace the damaged tissue. Starting with vasodilation, second phagocyte migration, third tissue repair. Let's talk about the vasodilation. Damaged cell release several chemicals such as histamines, prostaglandins and leukotrienes. Certain components of the complement system can also stimulate the release of histamines. One function of this chemical is to cause vasodilation an increase in the diameter of the blood vessels. This vasodilation results in more blood and therefore more phagocytes, oxygens and nutrients being delivered to the site of injury. This increased blood flow results in redness, heat, swelling and some of the pain associated with inflammation. Next step is phagocyte migration. The increased blood flow delivers phagocytes such as monocytes and neutrophils to the scene. The phagocytes stick to the wall of the blood vessel in a process called margination, then squeeze through the gaps between the cells in a process called emigration and diapidasis. Within about an hour of tissue damage, the phagocytes begin to destroy the invading microorganisms by phagocytosis. After engulfing large number of microorganisms and damaged tissue, the phagocytes die, forming pus. Third one is tissue repair. The final stage of inflammation is the tissue repair. The increased delivery of the nutrients and oxygen from vasodilation aids in this process. Other components of the blood lead to the formation of blood clot which seal off the site of injury. Now let's talk about the function of inflammation that is destruction of the injury causing agent, limitation of the effect of agent and repairing and replacing the damaged tissue. Destruction of the injury. The migration of the phagocytes and other factors to the site of injury usually results in the destruction of microorganisms. Phagocytes directly attack the microorganisms. But other components of the body's defense system such as complement system are also involved in this process. Limitation. Even if destruction of the injury causing agent is not possible, the inflammation helps to limit the effect of the agent by confining the agent and its byproducts to the site of injury. This is accomplished through the clotting that occurs during tissue repair. And the third one, repairing and replacing damaged tissue. Inflammation leads to repair and replacement of the damaged tissue when possible. Different tissues have different capacities to regenerate themselves while the outer layer of the skin is able to completely repair a small cut leaving no scar cardiac muscle tissues does not regenerate at all